Welcome to Final Third TV, our Saturday morning edition, your alternative to Fletch and Sav. Uh, Rob Palmer, Connor Kelly, Hello. I'm Rob Cannon. This week we're going to discuss our favourite footballing bastards. Everybody's got one. You have to. They're the best. They are the best. <laughs> Since you've spoke, you'll go first. <laughs> yeah. Rob, right what's your, who, who is rather is your favourite well, footballing bastard? My favourite footballing bastard is Sergio Ramos. Purely because he's been sent off, uh, I think it's 16 times, and he's 28. Yeah. And that's like, that's just brilliant. And like, <clears throat> the reason the reason why I like him so much is because not only is he a master of the bastard, but he's also a phenomenal player. Yeah. Like, he's an unbelievable player. player. And um, when he loses his head, it's often at the cost of his team. Like, I mean, you've seen even in the Classico, like, <clears throat> for one of the goals, the most recent Classico, for one of the goals that Barcelona scored, he sort of depressed the midfield, even though he had no business pressing the midfield, and there was a huge gap in behind him for which ended up as a Suarez goal. Yeah. It's just, it's brilliant. Like, but, um, he takes no shit on the pitch either. Like, he, if someone is, <clears throat> if someone is trying to rile him up, he'll take him out of the game, one way or the other. He'll take him out of the game either by playing a defensive masterclass or just by breaking them, like kicking them in the back of the leg, yeah. drop kicking them in the face or something. Like if he gets sent off, it doesn't matter. I think he's, he's, he's stopped what he stopped what was trying to happen. One of the, the trademarks of a bastard player is that he's respected by another bastard player. Right, so in this instance, I'm thinking specifically of Diego Costa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, do you remember when when uh, Diego Costa was coming to the Spanish team and they were saying, "Oh, well, he had all that argy with uh, with Ramos and the Madrid derbies," and you said, "I kick him, he kicks me. That's what we do." You Shake know? hands after the game. That's uh, it. I yeah. love that. I love that. I'm reminded as well of um, Chiellini and Cavani. Yeah. A really yeah. important game at San, pa San Paolo, and uh, <laughs> I think Cavani caught Chiellini in the face with an elbow. After the game, they both just went up. Just, just, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Cavani was like back in and looked over his shoulder. Yeah, crack. Bang, yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, dude, they're kind of recognise each other if you like. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's an appreciation of bastardism. I like what it's you great, do. Like, yeah. I, I love you. Do. You, I, you do what I do. I do what you yeah, do. Yeah. That's, We're both good that's it. it, exactly. What's that? Give us it. Oh, he's been sent off 19 times. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind 16. It gets worse. <laughs> You, you were generous. <laughs> yeah, I was down. That made for really bad TV. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, it's not TV; it's a YouTube channel. Yeah, get on it. And it's since YouTube is new, we, we can set the rules for what happens. Yeah, we can do what we want. Uh, that's the whole point. Yeah, I, I mean, like Adam is supposed to be directing this. And he's really low on bed. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's kind of seductive. Yeah, it's seductive. But, uh, that's what I haven't, that's what I haven't, looked, that's what I haven't looked over. That's why I'm looking at you. Yeah, yeah. Christ, uh, make it stop. But uh, <laughs> put your balls away, for fuck's sake. You're not leaving that hand. Connor, you're a bastard. <laughs> um, my bastard is Marco Materazzi. <laughs> not, uh, nowhere near, bastard. nowhere near level of the player that Sergio Ramos is. Um, was probably probably made his use to the teams he played for purely down to his bastardism mm. because, well, he did. He did tend to come up with important goals as well. Like he scored in the World Cup final. He scored for Inter in a big game as well. I think it was Mourinho's first season when they won the title. But that guy could... He's a very Mourinho player, isn't he? Yeah, oh, Jesus. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So much yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. so. Yeah, I remember he looked about Tony in San Siro. Well, you're the only manager who understood me, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> my career is coming to an end. My, my, my wife doesn't understand. <laughs> yeah. Minus five bastard points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, interesting enough, he was at Everton early in his career. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I think he. I think he was. No, I, don't know. I do remember reading that he was sent off for something stupid in England as well. Sounds like him. Yeah, but. <laughs> The moment that stands out, of course, and everyone will remember it because it's such an iconic moment, was the Zidane headbutt incident when he, uh, <laughs> he, he wound Zidane up so much that Zizou uh, turned around and full force nutted him right in the chest. Uh, and Madarasi still maintains to this day that he was just holding him. Oh, he, him. he said nothing. Yeah. Like, you know, he's just... Zidane, Zidane, of course, had a much different story. Do you know how long's left in the final? Bang, he just hit me out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. It's it's just Sedan's fault for being in that situation, you know. Sh he should not be, he should not have been backing into Manorati. Mm -hmm. Manorati is entitled to grab the jersey and hold his arm and insult his mother. It's just being friendly, of course. Sharing uh, pleasantries. You see, there was no language barrier in this one because the guy played in Italy, so ah uh, yeah, yeah so. and he probably knew that. Yeah, yeah. but. A good we're... bastard does his homework. He does on he the does. language spoken by the person you're winding. The with. reason this is the reason. <laughs> The reason Manorati is a great bastard is because not only did he get a, a man sent off in the World Cup final, which essentially won his team the World Cup final. Peak bastard. Peak bastard. Six years later, 
<laughs> he was in Paris. And in Paris, they have a statue of Zidane's head, but like, they have really? a statue outside a museum somewhere. Matarazzi went to the statue and sat beside it and got a picture and put it up on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and his, his bio also says, uh, I love haters, so... <sighs> yeah. Man, have you ever seen him with the tattoos the man has? Yeah, he's got a lot. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, just a, he's just a vile human being, and I love it. If you look closely at his tattoos, it's actually not like... It's not just like, coloured in shapes. It's like the, 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 the date of birth of all the people he's insulted in his life. <laughs> yeah. Arms yeah. of being... <laughs> it's like, um, it's like the, the Bilbao player who has uh, Diego Maradona's boot yeah. in his... In his yeah. That he broke his ankle with. Yeah, but he's a special kind of bastard. He can't <laughs> like that. But no, butcher he's, of Bilbao. Yeah. yeah. Goy Texa. G O I T E X X A, I think yeah, his I name is. I wasn't even about to attempt to pronounce his name. I just literally went with the, uh, what do you call it when you do that? You just pronounce it. Phonetically? Yes, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I just look at the letters and go, Goy Texa? Yeah. But Madarazzi, it, like, it got to the point in his last two or three years, it was Mourinho's time at Inter. He was essentially, he was as a player who would come on in late in games as an auxiliary centre half or an auxiliary striker and he'd just be there to provoke the opposition. Shit house really. An auxiliary centre Oh, they try him up front. Or auxiliary striker. Yeah, because <laughs> he, he was nothing. He, was not, he wasn't a footballer at that point. He was a fullback as well, wasn't he, in the, yeah. In the World Cup? Yeah. Oh yeah, he played. He, he wasn't started. a footballer at that point. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was just, his whole purpose in the team was to come on and to drag the shirts of opponents yeah. to kick people make sure that as little football as possible was playing yeah yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. He, like, he was 6 foot 5 so he did have his uses in, in the physical a sense 6 foot 5 fullback oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that he See, would make it his mighty he only got into the, <laughs> interesting enough he only got into the Italian World Cup winning team because Alessandro Nessa got injured in the second or third game of the group stage oh, that's an absolutely disgraceful place. he was yeah I mean like, one Alessandro, of the best defenders in the history of football yeah. the place with him. Like Alessandro Nesta probably would have, I don't know, just given Zidane a little hug, probably. kiss him on the kiss him on the cheek, and just said, "You've played really well, by the way." Yeah, thanks, Zizou. Give him a recipe for like for catch bread or something. But then Zizou, well. Zizou would try and take a pass him, and, and Nesta would read the game properly and yeah. take it off him. Yeah, not Matarazzi. Uh, a gentle, a gentleman uh, of a footballer. Yeah, a great as, footballer. As well as a man, of like Matarazzi. Yeah. And yours. Right. Mine is uh, Canaro Cattuso, oh, yeah. who uh, <laughs> I, I personally good. think is the bastard's fastest because yeah. he has a couple of key ingredients to the bastard, right? Really, really average player. Like, painfully <laughs> yeah. average player, right? Played for Rangers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's, a, that's a prerequisite. Could also be Celtic. I'm not going there with the sectarian. Scott Brown is just one, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. just played for one of the Glaswegian clubs then. We'll go there. Uh, oh, and this is another thing I find that bastards, bastards have to have. They have to play in great teams. Yeah, but they have yeah. to be so bad that you kind of look and go, "What is he? Oh, I see. He kills people <laughs> for money or something." Oh, he knocks around where everybody else plays football. Yeah, see yeah. Yeah, yeah. like that. That Milan side that Catusa played in is one of the best. Oh, I think when you're so looking back, like we we always watch, um, you know, the years of the Premier League and stuff. Like when it comes to looking back at years of Champions League, you kind of look and go, "That's, that's the side I remember. That's what I remember growing up watching." Yeah, I mean, like, absolutely. Whoa. That's why people look at Milan in the last years and kind of go, "What happened?" Because they're <clears> so you know, blah blah. Like that team that lost to Liverpool and Istanbul, it's a crying shame. It was a crying shame that they blew that game because yeah. it was such a great team. It, it does on the flip side, it does make Istanbul more incredible because the more of those players that drop out of the game and retire, the more times you see their stats come, you realise that that Liverpool side, which is not very good, the Liverpool beat, side, yeah. yes, that's always yeah. the uh, beat that Milan side. So Vladimir Smeitzer played in midfield. Yeah. Cool player. Before, yeah. Well, this is this is this is turn like in mid. Not, not Champions League finals. He's, he's a good player. player if you take him. Did Tommy Hoop you play as well? Yeah, he was actually he was yeah, actually good. he was a good player back then. He was really good. Yeah. No, but would he not have been on the way down in two thousand five though? No, well, he no, played. he certainly wouldn't be at his peak. But I mean, like yeah. he never had any pace to really lose. He, so. he left Liverpool in like two thousand and nine, I think. Oh right, so he was there till the yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, Gattuso was uh, was a bastard. He basically everything that people re- remember or still think goes on the Italian game in a player. Yeah, you know, yeah. Um, he was cynical cynical you know he butcher people he feigned you know interest in their well-being he had a, he had a dodgy haircut as well he's also one of those players who uh, gets butchered and complains to the referee then butchers somebody and moans <coughs> that the referee is yeah. you know having the temerity to give out to him or whatever but my favourite brilliant Gennaro Gattuso moments and there's been a few there's been a few hard tackles and off the ball incidents but my favourite Gennaro Gattuso incident was when he was definitely like, this is him declined as a place complete decline as a player. He's in, he's, he didn't afford to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, a he gentle couldn't. drop. <laughs> yeah. he, his uh, he wasn't even able to run into a tackle anymore at this oh, point. Oh, okay. So 
He was he would arrive into a tackle like five minutes late. Yeah. It says very pass goals. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ex- yeah it just <laughs> except he didn't he couldn't ping a ball fifty yards onto someone's chest. No. Yeah. Well, if he tried, he couldn't. I mean, he no. did it by accident. He tried. Uh, to yeah, play yeah, yeah, yeah. Play a wonder ball over the top. Well, I remember they played Tottenham in the Champions League uh, quarter final. I think it was. What a weird sentence to say. Yeah, 2011, <laughs> 2011 um, Champions League quarter final. Peter Crouch scored the winner in this game as well. An even weirder sentence to say. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the Champions League. Yeah, but Gennaro Gattuso. I'm not sure what precisely happened, but Gattuso was involved in an off the ball incident, and. Uh, Something happened with Joe Jordan, the Tottenham assistant. I actually remember this. <laughs> I remember it. You two so fucking squares up to Joe Jordan. This man, he was close to pension age. Yeah. Now, Joe Jordan admitted he was a hard man. He's no slouch. Yeah, Joe Jordan was uh, was one of those uh, dreadfully intimidating Scotsmen from the <laughs> 1960s and 70s. Seen the all they produced. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Or misery yeah. and whiskey. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> He was uh, he was he was a tough he was a tough cookie, and all I, the, the best part about the picture is right is, uh, is um, Harry Redknapp just Harry Redknapp tried like has a little bit of a shout at Gattuso, but as soon as Gattuso comes close to the touchdown, Redknapp retreats uh. back to his dugout. But Joe Jordan's not stepping down, so it's, it's just too angry, you know, angry fucking two angry angry men who are incapable of uh, incapable of showing any weakness even John Jordan's in his, his late 60s and the man the man is still picking a fight with it. You know, a man half his age. Bob Catuso <laughs> wouldn't show humility. Catuso was like, "No, you, you're not. You're not intimidating me." Misery and whiskey. <laughs> But yes. Oh, another thing Gattuso had actually uh, was crazy eyes. Yeah, it's always a good one. And a beard, a proper beard. Yeah, like real gnarly beard. Wasn't proper beard. Yeah. Yeah. He took out the management as well. He was uh, a hot-headed manager. Who, oh, has, who is knew? he managing now again? Is he? Last I heard, he was managing in Crete. Managing is such a <laughs> strong term <laughs> to describe. Well, it implies he gets along with people. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, like I mean, he's uh, he's an insider to human psyche. Uh, agreeing to agreeing to work for Palermo was never a good idea. Oh, no. It was never going to work. Already a weird club. But didn't he? Didn't he? Yeah, he managed Kyle Lafferty at Sion. Yeah. There's another. Kyle Lafferty into the best. There's another bastard. Yeah, no one has ever seen. Yeah. I think you're fine. Yeah, he's another bastard. Oh, yeah, big time. Lafferty. Oh, yeah. Maybe just, no, maybe just an idiot. Yeah, because like, this is what I wanted to do after we got through our three. Are we, how are we for time, Adam? Yeah, we're okay. We've got time. Uh, there are different categories to this, right? Because people often slip people into categories that they aren't. Like, so, for example, Zidane with the head, but he's not a bastard. No. He's a hothead. Yeah. And th- 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 there is a huge difference. He so. did that a few times. There's a, there's a video of Zidane. There's a video of Zidane. It's strange enough always his head as well. He always headbutts people. Really? Yeah. The, there was an incident in a Champions League game. Um, and that, he was playing for Juve. And there was like a bit of a tangle of legs on the ground. And he just turns around and nuts someone. <laughs> Just like, it's just really when you watch him play, he's so composed and it's so elegant serene, and yeah. graceful. It's serene, that's the yeah. word. And he he headbutts people. That's why Zidane <laughs> he headbutts was, the guy in the why, chest. That's why I love Zidane probably more than any footballer from the mid two thousands, apart from maybe Ronaldinho, because he was so obviously incredible, but he was so obviously flawed as well. Yeah, like, yeah, that's that, that's what's like really like good. that World Cup final <laughs> exit. Like, I mean, if you're not going to win a World Cup final, you might as well get sent off by headbutting someone. And be remembered forever for it. Oh, like, do you ever see yeah. the Family Guy thing with Zidane? Like, I've already watched. Yeah, that. I have. I've seen it. Yeah. It's almost <laughs> as bad as getting a birthday telegram from Zidane to Dan. So the door is bon, <laughs> bon anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cake, by the way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. But um, yeah, so so there are there are different categories. So there's a reason why they have to be select players. Also, we have to like them. They are a yeah, favourite. Yeah. I was going to say Mark Van but I don't like him. So yeah, he's, he's the number one. He's, yeah, he's a bastard. dickhead. That tackle on uh, Xabi Alonso. Oh, 2010 World Cup. Was that not like De Jong? No, that was De Jong, yeah. The chest I was throwing it right. Van Bommel was the man who, in his final game for PSV, before he was, and he had announced his retirement at this stage, his final act as a professional footballer was getting sent off for a two footed lunge. I mean, as, <laughs> as poetic evidence, though. Yeah. Doesn't get any better. And and I wouldn't surprise him. He's only 31. Yeah. By the way, his birthday's today, so happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, I'm assuming we is. love you. It's his category. Yeah. But, He's only thirty-one. He seems to have been around and aging. For I thought ever. he was. I thought he was thirty when he was at City. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. unbelievable. See, oh, um, yeah. As you were saying, there's varying categories for this. Oh, yeah. Um, there's the there's the Roy Keane category of bastard when he's just like just wild. Yeah, just, just wild. A thug. A thug. <laughs> that which you put 
you'd put Vinnie Jones in that category, but Vinnie Jones was deliberately like just you know. Vinnie Jones wasn't actually a footballer at all. Yeah, he actually, no, he actually acknowledged that he played. Yeah, Vinnie Jones. I, I'm pretty sure Vinnie Jones, like, played up to his, played up to his persona in his later days because he knew that. He what was, do you mean? It's the hard man. He plays in every single film. He's a yeah, yeah, oh. exactly. <laughs> he prepared himself for his role. For he, he, he was acting on the pitch. Yeah. He, yeah. That's, Someday someone's gonna get me to play in some football film where I play a hooligan. Yeah. I might as well start playing like that now. I was just talking about that yourself. Me? No, I, I can't imagine it. Like I've never seen. I'm sure. Can I read right? the analytics? He's nuts, man. If you, yeah. If you, if speaking of nuts, if you Google, if you Google football hardman, the first picture that comes up is Vinnie Jones grabbing Paul Gascoigne's nuts. Yeah. Pretty gay. Yeah. Just to intimidate. Him, <laughs> I would say. Yeah. Are there any other bastards? I'm trying to think. Um, I, I kind of real Cavani out because I know I mentioned Melody Alba, but he, he fingered a guy at the Copa America last year. So Suarez. There's is not bastard. really too many ways about that, you know. Suarez is a bastard. Speaking I'm of your I know you. Rectally. Wait, no, that was Haro who fingered him. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah. Sorry. So, Uruguay. I'm happy you spent too much time on Wales, you see. I'm insulted at all of the British ones. <laughs> yeah, like Suarez is an other bastard as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Busquets is a, is a special kind of bastard. Yeah. Because he's sort of, he's subtle. He's a subtle bastard. He's very clever. He's sly. He's, very he's, very sly. Clever. he's, he's sly, exactly. He's smarmy. Pepe didn't make the cut because I picked a two so over him and these two don't like him. No. no. I, do, I like Pepe. I've got a lot of time. He's a teenage mutant. John Terry, I suppose. He is, actually. He actually, actually is. Like, suppose John Terry's a bastard. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. But I think John Terry's a bastard. Was it John Terry who, in a Champions League game, they were defending a corner and he grabbed someone's hand who was injured? Or did that happen to him? I'm pretty sure that could have been Carvalho. Carvalho was a bastard. Yes. Yeah. See, yeah. Uh, John Terry was... John Terry was more was the more um, upfront player like he never really did that nasty yeah, not like, nasty, racism yeah. aside yeah. But, like, you know <laughs> John Terry John Terry never. liked to exert his physical presence but do it in a macho kind of yeah. way Carvalho was the bastard in that team because Carvalho used to do the stuff the, the dirty little things the off the ball sneaky Latino do you remember, do you remember the, the goal that John Terry scored against Barcelona in like, I think it was 2005 you can, you can see it on YouTube anyway if you can. it's a front post header where he makes a front post run and he's been marked by Puyol but all of a sudden Puyol's not in the, the shot and John Terry's heading it in the corner. And then if you watch the replay, it's because Carvalho, from behind, drags Puyol to the ground and just, like, trips him. And nobody sees it because he does it so slyly and discreetly. It's brilliant. Nice. Yeah. He used to... He would... Yeah, he, he'd be the type of player who would grab the opponent's arm and put it on his shirt so he gets Oh, through. yeah, I always I always yeah. wondered who people fell for. Like, you, know, you put it around yourself as well. So, yeah, I played with a lot of that as well. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a strange one. I never think it would work. Anyway... Is that a wrap? Yeah, I'm a bastard. Ian Wright's probably talking about what Van Hal needs to do if you want to switch over to BT Sport. <laughs> point. Look at the glint of his goal too. Robbie Savage, yeah. They're bringing on like David Hay again and Saul Campbell. For once, Robbie Savage last They're week. They're bringing on David Hay. No, this was last week. They had David Hay on. A um, football show. And Saul Campbell. A show about football. Solomon. A football show. Solomon Campbell, yeah. What can David Solomon Hay Campbell, who was, was shown up by Liam um, in the cafe. <clears throat> Did you read this? No. Oh, I'll show you this afterwards. Okay. Yeah, every, everyone's probably knows this already. All right, yeah. look forward to it. Okay, so leave your comments in the section below. Who is your favourite bastard and what do you think of our selections? Subscribe to Final Third TV on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at the final underscore third. And thanks for watching.